to the vault. Wanna know what it's like then to live with you? Today's going to be an adventure. I'm headed to the Punk Rock Flea Market outside of Philadelphia. Normally it's in Trenton, New Jersey, but um, this this time it's been moved to a brewery north of Philadelphia. I've never been to it before. My friend uh, Matt suggested it. So we're going to ride it together and check it out. I like the idea of it. I'm sure it's one of those kind of shows that actually attracts lots of young people, which the business struggles to do so much of um not just matt but i'm also taking up yep that's right dolly dolly's riding up with us it should be a fun day let's see what it has in store for us we're headed into the punk rock flea market now as you can see the parking was crazy a lot of people here Got my buddy Matt with me. So Matt, who's your favorite punk rock artist before we go in? Elvis. Elvis, all right. I don't know, that counts. Uh, what's the over or under a number of Ramones t-shirts we're gonna see today? <laughs> 10? 10, do you sure, take the 10, I have no idea. I'm not, Dude, I do you no take idea. the over or the under on that? <laughs> um. Is Motorhead punk? I'm gonna go with Motorhead. I'm gonna answer my question seriously and go with Motorhead. Let me I think there's gonna be a. Me... I think there's gonna be a lot of Ramones t-shirts. I'm not sure. Punk. Ramones are punk, but like, then you watch that movie Rock and Roll High School, and you're like, that's not punk at all. That's just silly. <laughs> so it's a big crowd. Obviously, this is might be where the biz, the future of the business. We'll see. The show certainly had a younger crowd, uh, less less vintage stuff than I would have liked to have seen or given a chance to buy. Don't think I could set up there. I do believe some of my friends could set up there. A friend Kenny, who does a lot with uh, you know music records and CDs and video games, I think he could do really well there. But um, definitely a younger crowd there, artsy crowd. Uh, a lot of the vendors felt like they were out of the artist row at a comic con. It was a neat show. Glad I went. The word antique has definitely a negative connotation with some, something of boring or stuffy or snobby. And there's a ton of people that like to decorate with that vintage flea market chic. What they're really doing is just buying, you know, country or primitive antiques, late 1800s, early 1900s. And certainly a few of the outdoor shows I do locally could benefit from billing themselves you know, is antique and vintage markets or something, and having food trucks and having a beer truck and having some live music create an event. I think that might be the future for some of these shows. I know the future for other shows might be dying or just going away, and I think some of the bigger shows will be fine and some of the smaller shows will be fine. I think a lot of mid-level shows will struggle. Show us what you bought today at the Punk Rock Flea Market. I think that's the blueprint. For some of them moving forward is to make it more of an event looks like a normal jar so far so good okay uh i bought something not wrapped in a jar no formaldehyde maybe an antique ball jar mason jar man they really sealed that up nice and tight i bought this spider-man figure yeah that's right spider-man just like an adult Oh, there's juice flowing out of it. That's weird. Looks like something in it. Uh, made in Mexico. Knockoff, even. Uh, $5, though. Seems like a bargain at twice the price. Is that a kitten? What is that? What is that? My uh, thought, my thought exactly. Uh, mm, where's that going? Well, keep following along. Uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe, and we'll see where the antiques business takes me and takes us over the next year or two.